this is Sido welcome to katiatutorialcat.com and today in this video I will be talking about Katia v5 license um, there are two main licenses for Katia v5 uh, first one is node lock license and this is a single license it's only could be used in one machine so if you got a node lock license and basically it's gonna be uh, uh, used only in one machine um, and it's not gonna be transferable or used to um, another machine uh, just to remind you I don't know maybe I have talked about on another video I think um, when you're requesting a license uh, normally they will ask you um, your target ID and I said target ID is uh, a certain your uh, some digit like eight digit number and some letter on it um, those are your social security for the machine that's what basically called is target ID you give them the target ID to the key center from Dassel sister Dassel system and then they will provide you a license based on that machine so on that machine only you are allowed to use in one machine so if you install Katia on machine A and your license was based on machine A then you are only able to use on machine A you cannot basic you cannot install Katia on machine B and take that license from machine A and put it on B it will not work so node lock is only for one machine used for the license okay and normally all the student get node lock license I mean they don't have other options students only can get node lock license and there is another option there is a concurrent license and that's not for student obviously that's for uh, for the companies and this is a concurrent license is like a server license so you have so the company maybe they get like a bunch of licensing like 10 20 license and they just go ahead they just put it on the server on the network so like if there's like a maybe 10 uh, users using um, I mean 10 users employee or maybe in the company they can just go connect to the network where the company uh, maybe the, the building inside the building or the company uh, connect to the network and somehow they could just start Katia and they can just point out that they can just say okay the license is exist in that uh, in the network and they can just borrow it and use it in there also uh, concurrent li uh, license it's nice uh, uh, somehow is that like because the user can basically go to the server and uh, extract the license from the server they can basically borrow it and put it in their machine then they can just take that license I mean to home or anywhere they want you know and Katia will still work so the users they don't have to be in the network okay they can borrow that uh, borrow the license but it only works for certain days maybe from 1 to 30 days and, and it depends for each company and they can uh, the administrator they have some limited times that they have to bring it back so they use it for some time and they just have to put it back in the server so it's there is a flexibility on the concurrent you can put it back you can bring it back and it's not a specific to machine so as long as the user is allowed to use it but node lock is only for one machine so that's the difference concurrent uses um, something called LUM license user runtime and that's a utility that the way that you can basically import and the license uh, so it will be active basically and I will show you those stuff so in a minute so that's in next video I will show you what is LUM is and uh, just to give you a quick overview about LUM I'm not gonna go talk about detail about LUM but maybe on another video detail we'll be talking about that okay and I will show you also next video examples of the node lock and concurrent and how you can figure out which one is which um, so we'll see you on next video okay bye